All right, today we're gonna make the most delicious ground beef you've ever had in your life using some of the byproducts, some of the scraps from some of the other projects we've done. If you go back to the description, I'm gonna have where I broke down a beef tenderloin and when I broke down a strip loin. Now, both of those cuts, the happy byproduct is the fact that you get extra meat and extra fat that you can make into ground beef. And it's not that hard. You can even use this KitchenAid that, that you already have. And you probably have one of these somewhere. You maybe got it when you got married and you registered for something because I need all these crazy attachments. This is just a KitchenAid grinder attachment. I'm gonna show you how to make great ground beef with this. Let's go. Tip number one, make sure that all of these parts are in the freezer for at least an hour or two before you start, preferably overnight. Problem you are into ground beef, it is a potentially hazardous food. Basically what happens is you're taking the bacteria that's on the outside of a steak or outside of a piece of meat and then grinding it up to where it's on the inside of the piece of meat. So to keep this nice and safe, we're gonna make sure everything is, comes out of the freezer and is nice and cold. All right, let's break this thing down, our grinder attachment. So you unscrew this little O-ring. There's a die in here. It comes with a blade. It comes with an auger bit and then the housing. So the auger goes in, the blade goes in, then the die, and then the O-ring. Make sure that's nice and tight. And basically it just goes, you unscrew this, this little black piece right here, screw it back in. You're now ready to start grinding. So in this bowl, I have all of my steak trimmings. When I broke down the tenderloin, and I broke down the strip loin. So we're gonna cut these up into small pieces so it'll fit in our grinder. I'm just gonna use a bony knife. You can cut them into strips like this and it'll go by just fine. It just needs to be able to fit into the meat grinder. This is the way that butcher shops make all of their money or a lot of their money they sell nice steaks but then also the trimmings are used in their ground beef not only is it a superior ground beef product than what you've got at a grocery store but it also uses all of these trimmings that they are not able to use all right so here are all our steak trimmings you're going to see there's a lot there's a good amount of meat but there's also a good amount of fat what we need to do is add a lean cut to this to, to make sure there was not all fat. I bought a sirloin, a top sirloin round or a top sirloin roast from Costco and we're gonna break that down and then add it to the add it to our steak trimmings to even it out to make it a little leaner. And here you have it, our big pile of meat that we're gonna put through the grinder. We're gonna turn on the grinder. Slowly we're gonna feed these pieces of meat in here. If they're too big, we can go back and cut them. Here it comes. This little pusher comes with the KitchenAid. It's kind of nice if you get things stuck. But if you don't overload it, you should be okay. Just add a couple pieces at a time. We've gone through our grind, and look at this. It's such a great, we gotta mix it around because of the lean and the fat together. But this is ready to go. This is gonna make just tremendous burgers or meatballs.